Okay, good afternoon everyone. Um, another day and today's video tutorial is going to be on uh, creating a puppet. And what we're going to do is we're going to be attempting to create this little puppet today. Um, I made it yesterday, so it's hard as a rock. Uh, I went through the process, made a video for you guys, and um, unfortunately I didn't like it that much. And so we're going to try again. Um, you know, I don't want to give you guys stuff that I don't like. Anyway, so what you're going to need today in order to make this puppet uh, will be um, the puppet uh, template, uh, which you have in your package, uh, the premium air dry clay, uh, the epoxy, as you can see, the two part epoxy, uh, and five of the wires that I gave you. Uh, two of them should have little uh, feet on them. Two of them should be kind of in between, not too long, not too small, and then one tall one for the head. Now, we only have three here because we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I made these wires so that you can do this at home for your next puppet, okay? Uh, so let's get started. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and uh, show you how I made these little feet and the little wires, and then what we'll do is make the feet. So let me move some of these items here. Uh, hopefully you can see everything uh, pretty well. So what I did is I took my template and I am going to go ahead and secure this here so you guys can see everything using these magnets. Um, and what I did is I measured um, just an approximate measure of how much wire I would need maybe for the legs. And you can kind of see I need about seven inches. So I'm gonna give myself maybe eight inches. And remember, I'm gonna double that. So two times eight is 16. So I'm gonna measure out uh, 16 inches of wire. And I'm doing that right here. And I'm gonna snip this. So this will be the, the leg. And so you can kind of see that if I bend this in half, that's more than enough. Uh, in fact, quite a bit more than is needed for uh, the foot. So here's how I created the foot so you can kind of see it. We're gonna be doing uh, this part right now, right? So how did I do that? Uh, well, let me go ahead and move this out of the way and put this, so I'm gonna put a, a magnet underneath uh, this gradient right here so that this sticks uh, to uh, the mesh. And what I'm gonna do then is bend this wire in half like this. So you can kind of see it's all bent in half. And then what I'm gonna do is put the wire on top of the nut. Now you notice it doesn't move because of the magnet. And I'm gonna just bend it and pull really tight and then bend it forward like so, and then pull it nice and tight. So what I have is, as you can kind of see, you can say it's wrapped around the bolt, but it's not totally secure and we'll use the epoxy to secure it. Uh, now, the next thing we're gonna do is twist it. Now, you could hand twist this if you wanted to, right? You could kind of do it this way. Uh, but what we're gonna use is the drill. I'm gonna show you how that works with the drill. If you're not hand twisting it, uh, the drill is definitely the way to go. So here's how it looks with the drill. I'm gonna move this out of the way, put the drill here so you can kind of see it. And again, because I've made this perfectly um, even, uh, I can actually put this end into the end of the drill, as you can kind of see. Close this up, I'm not putting it all the way in, just putting it in a little bit until it's in there. Nice, and it's secure, I can feel it's secure. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be holding one end and then using the drill to twist the other. And you can see, voila, I've got the foot and I'm gonna undo this. So if you have a drill, this is gonna work really, really well. Uh, if you don't, it's a little bit more work, but you can actually do it no problem. So that's gonna be our foot. And obviously our foot's going to be bent up like this, uh, and you can kind of see how that's gonna work. So we're gonna have two of these. I've already made one of them for you, but I haven't bent them. And uh, so we're just gonna move this up here. The next thing I'm gonna do is do a, uh, one that's just a hand. You can kind of see that here. Uh, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, take my template, uh, measure uh, roughly how long I need the hand to be. So it looks like four inches for this, plus another inch, so maybe about five inches altogether. So I'm gonna measure five inches, right? So times two, which is 10 inches because we're gonna bend it again. Uh, I'll use my scissors to cut this. 
to the side of the way. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to bend this in half as good as I can get it. You can kind of see it there. I'm going to put one end into the drill like this. I'm gonna close it up by hand and make sure it's securely in there so it doesn't move. You can kind of see one end is moving so it's not quite in there. Let's undo that and do it like this. Okay, seems like it's kind of secure. It's, something's going on here. There we go. Now it feels secure. Both sides are actually secured in there. And then what I wanna do, um, because this is gonna be for the hand, I'm just gonna make it easier for you to see. I'm gonna use something like a pencil to keep the, this end nice and round because the hand, uh, you know, you wanna see the fingers and stuff. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to start the drill. And there you go. You can kind of see what it looks like. I'll undo this. And now you can see that the top here is uh, nicely, you know, rounded. So that'll be the, the actual palm for your hand, okay? Uh, so that's gonna be that. All right. Uh, so you'll normally, you'll have all these things ahead of time uh, available to you. You'll have one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna move this magnet out of the way because it's grabbing my thing. thing. So one, two, three. So normally you're gonna have three, uh, five little things, one, two for the arms, two for the legs, one for the body. And uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bend it to shape. So for that, you're gonna need a little bit of wax paper. I'm just gonna show you how this looks so you can see it a little bit better. And I'm gonna go ahead and tack these down. And I'm gonna to go ahead and put a magnet underneath. And as you can kind of see, my foot is nicely secured uh, onto the magnet. So all I have to do now is actually put the epoxy on. And since everything is kind of secure, it's gonna guarantee that the epoxy won't be below the foot. Now I'm also gonna make a toe. Uh, and the way I'm gonna make the toe is I'm gonna use the thin wire, small wire, and cut a little bit, like, I don't know, about this much, not too much. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, bend it in half, right? And then put this around the back of the foot. I'm going to do the same thing I did before, which was like to bend it forward and then to bend it again. So now, as you can kind of see, I have the front part of the foot. And so to make this kind of like end someplace here. I'm just going to twist it, right? And then I can just kind of bend it back until I have the, the length of the foot that I want. Remember, the, this is all going to be covered with epoxy. So just kind of however you want to make it. But there's my foot. You can kind of see that there's some wire here so the epoxy can stick to it. And then the same thing here. I'm going to do this for both feet because I'm going to be doing the epoxy. I'm just going to put this on here. I'm going to be doing the epoxy part last because it dry, it uh, hardens in about five minutes. So uh, let's go ahead and do this same thing again. Cut a little bit of a foot. Uh, just wrap it around, bend it in half, wrap it again, just like before. And then one more time so that we have it going forward. Notice the back of the heel is here and then twist. So I don't need a drill for that. And then just make it about the same length as the other one um, so that it's approximately, looks like the same foot. And again, this is gonna be the toe on the foot. So we've got two feet here. You can kind of see they're pretty closely matched. That's the important part. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, just use, I'll have both feet available here. Uh, all I need to do now is put on the two-part epoxy. So how do we use the epoxy? Well, the two-part epoxy is this uh, black stuff, and I'm going to use a razor blade just to cut a little piece off. And you can see it's not very much that I'm cutting off. It's just a little tiny bit. So this stuff goes a long way. It's very expensive, but don't use all of it because 
you know, you won't have any left over afterwards. Okay, just pull this off. And you can see it's not a very big piece. And the way it's, you use it, uh, again, we're going to be putting it on the back heel and also on the tip of the toe, but we're not gonna put it in between the toe and the heel. Uh, that way it can still bend. Uh, but the way it works, and by the way, this is kind of magnetic, so which is kind of cool. So this is a magnetic epoxy, it's made of steel. All right, so we're gonna just knead it. So I'm just gonna knead away here. And you know you've kneaded it enough uh, if it is not two colors, so that's not enough. It normally takes about, mm, I don't know, uh, a minute of kneading. You can kind of sometimes feel, my fingers are cold, but you could sign this, you can feel it's getting warm and sticky. Uh, and that means that there is a chemical reaction occurring, uh, which is what you want. But again, you'll know that's needed completely if you do not have two colors, which is why they made it two colors, um, on your epoxy putty. And you can kind of see that's pretty much uh, ready to go. So I'll just cut this in half and then take a little bit off the front here. And I'm gonna use this for my toes. So just make a little uh, thing for the toe. And then the back heel, I'm gonna do is just kind of squish this on so that it actually, and then I'll put this on the toe. And ta-da. Now, one thing I would suggest is if you have a pencil, right, or some other piece of wood that you use it, because you can actually use it to kind of get that epoxy really to smash in. The idea is like you want the epoxy to be adhering to the wire and to the bolt. And the way you do that is just by kind of using the pencil to kind of smoosh it in there, there. And the same with the front, you kind of want that epoxy to really get in that wire so that that wire um, and the epoxy become just like one entity. So that would be an example of a foot, right? And I'll just take this magnet off so I can remove this foot and then remove it here. You can kind of see from underneath you can completely see uh, the actual steel for the, the foot itself, which is what you want. So I'm gonna let this harden somewhere over here. Okay, I'm gonna do the same, same thing for the other foot. So I'll just move the magnet here. side while we go through how to make the hands. Okay. There we go. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go through and uh, show you how to make fingers for the hands. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You don't always need fingers. You can put them on with clay, but this is kind of the way I do it. And uh, I'm also going to show you a little bit later on how to dip something like that into some type of plastic to actually make the fingers stand out even better. So what we're going to need is about, uh, I don't know, we're going to be using the thin wire again, okay? And I would love two pieces of that thin wire that's about, I don't know, three inches in length, so kind of like that, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to use, we're going to bend this wire in half like this. You can kind of see. And we are going to now uh, do the following. We're gonna put it around this guy, and then we're gonna we're gonna put these four things through the hole, like this. So you can kind of see it's going through the hole. And then we're gonna pull. And in essence, we're gonna make we're gonna make a knot, right? You can kind of see that knot, right? Now we've got four pieces of wire coming through this unit. And you can see I'm pulling. It's just, just fine. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be using one more piece of wire to weave these four pieces of wire to that loop that we made for the finger. So I'll just take another piece of wire, I don't know, something like this. And the way I do it is I start by just putting this on one side and that'll be my thumb. Then I hold it with my fingers like this. Then I go down and in between the two fingers right here, uh, on the inside of the loop, you'll see a hole. And I'm just gonna kind of go up through the holes. It's like sewing with wire. So I'm gonna just go up and over, right? And then I'm gonna go down through the two fingers 
and then go up the hole of the next two fingers from the inside. You can kind of see how that works here. Then I'm gonna go through those two fingers and up again through where those two fingers, the next two fingers separate on the inside of the loop. Just kind of pulling it down between those two fingers, up again between the thumb and that last finger. Kind of hard to show you because it's like a little fiddly, right? And then finally uh, through that, and then I'm going to twist the thumb until I am satisfied. So you can kind of see, see it here, right? You can kind of see how, you can kind of see that it's just in essence sewing each of these fingers to the, that outside frame. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll take my scissors, cut the thumb about the appropriate length. I'll cut the fingers to the appropriate length with the little finger at the end, kind of smaller. And that is gonna give me my hand, you can kind of see. Hopefully you can see. again. Again, there's four here. Go down through here and under and inside of this hole. One. Separate the fingers. in 